Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and welcome to part two of shopping along Las Vegas Boulevard or the Las Vegas Strip as it's known. If you missed part one, it was just uploaded a few days ago, so check that video out. In this video, part two, we're going to visit Miracle Mile Mall in Planet Hollywood. We're going to visit the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian, the shops at Palazzo, the Grand Bazaar shops, Win Plaza shops, and a couple of licensed stores along the way, including the M&M store, the Coke store, and the Hershey store. So put on your walking shoes and get out that credit card. We're going shopping tonight. <laughs> First up on our shopping excursion today is Miracle Mile Shops in the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino. Planet Hollywood is pretty much center strip. It is a Caesars property and Caesars is conveniently located pretty much right across the street. Miracle Mile Shops has over 200 shops and restaurants and you can access the mall via either directly from the uh, Las Vegas Strip or from inside Planet Hollywood's casino. The mall is also home to Zappos Theater, a rather large theater, especially for a mall. Uh, it seats over 7,000 people, and some of the recent residencies include Gwen Stefani, Jennifer Lopez, Kelly Clarkson, Christina Aguilera, The Scorpions, Shania Twain, Pitbull, Lionel Richie, a lot of big acts. If you're entering the mall through the Planet Hollywood entrance, the first thing you're going to see when you enter is the Blue Moon Bar, which we just passed. The Blue Moon is known for a huge selection of unusual draft beers as well as exotic and tropical drinks. It's right outside the Zappos Theater, so if you're going to see a show, a great place to stop off for a drink beforehand. As I said, Miracle Mile Shop Mall has uh, over 200 shops and restaurants. Most of them are mainstream stores you're going to find in malls across America. One thing you won't find here are large department stores. However, who needs a large department store with over 200 shops already? A great tip is if you're looking for an inexpensive quick bite when you're walking along the strip, stop into Miracle Mile Mall because there's tons of fast food inexpensive restaurants here can eat quickly, eat inexpensive, and continue on with your day. This place is pretty cool. It's called the Tipsy Robot. You place a cocktail order on a uh, tablet in front of you, and you watch the robotic bartenders make it for you. Pretty cool. Next stop is just a little bit north of here at the Venetian Hotel and Casino, the Grand Canal Shops, home of the Singing Gondoliers. Talk about creating a mood. These canals, as well as the gondoliers, run both inside and outside the Venetian complex, so for a little bit of coin, you can have a great time for a few moments. Photo opportunity! Oh yeah, sorry, we came here to talk about shopping, didn't we? First off, this place is not only beautiful, but it's huge, and I've been here dozens of times, and I've gotten lost every single time. Lots of twists and turns in different levels. Now, getting lost in a beautiful place like this is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can become frustrating if you're with your family or a large group. It's not unusual and in fact very common for families and groups to uh, split off and go their own way and then meet up later. So here's another travel tip from Jeff from New York. When you're about to split up, don't say something like, let's meet here in an hour. Say something more specific like, let's meet right here in front of Pandora in an hour. When you're specific like that, you could always look up Pandora on the store directory or ask the information or security desk, and they'll get you in the right direction, and you can hook up with your party with no problems at all. This is by far one of my favorite places to shop here on the Las Vegas Strip. It's not a super exclusive in high-end shops, so uh, you're not going to break the bank shopping here. But again, it's not flea market merchandise either, so it's it's kind of like middle of the road, 
uh, American mall, but it's just a lot more beautiful, and the experience is just incredible. By the way, there's lots of Italian sculptures and statues here in the mall, but that's not one of them. Place a tip on that stage and watch that statue come alive. There's well over 200 shops and restaurants here at the Grand Canal Shops. Uh, some of them, um, a lot of them are fast food and casual dining, but there are some more upscale restaurants here, especially steakhouses. We have Cut by Wolfgang Puck, Delmonico Steakhouse by Emeril Lagasse. Emeril also has Lagasse's Stadium, which is a very large upscale sports bar. And then there's a Smith & Walensky here, which is a personal Jeff from New York favorite, uh, there's one in Manhattan that I've been to, and it's a great steakhouse, and it's nice to see them here in Vegas. There's always some kind of free entertainment going on here in the St. Mark Square area of the Grand Canal shops, and free is not a word you hear too often here in Las Vegas. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, this was our last show here in St. Mark's Square. However, we will be back tomorrow at 12 o'clock. In the meantime, please visit the fine shops both here and at the Palazzo. Please at the fine restaurant and see the Grand Canal by Gondola. As we leave the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian, I just wanted to give you an exterior shot. Uh, we're off to the Palazzo next, and they are actually sister properties, the Venetian and the Palazzo, both owned by Sands Corporation. And you really don't have to go outside. Uh, they are connected inside. I just wanted to give you an exterior shot to let you know where we are on the strip. We're across the street from the Mirage. So we left the Grand Canal shops and now we're officially in the Palazzo. However, I believe these shops are still part of the, technically still part of the Grand Canal shops. As a matter of fact, if you Google Palazzo shopping, it takes you to the Venetian Grand Canal shop. So basically it's all the same complex, two different towers. One is the Venetian, one is the Palazzo. They're all suites, there's no hotel rooms, they're all suites, um, and the suites are basically the same. So, like I said, it's owned by the Sands. As a matter of fact, if you combine these two, which uh, most people do, and technically they are one hotel, uh, it used to be the largest hotel in the world. That title was taken away from them several years ago by a hotel in the Far East, but uh, it's still the largest hotel in Las Vegas. I'm digging these cowboy boots, and years ago I bought some uh, snakeskin cowboy boots in Arizona, right over the border here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I spent on them because I'm too embarrassed, but I did wear them around the city here in the Northeast, and some road salt in the winter did them in. One thing I can say about myself here is that I don't save things for special occasions. If I uh, buy expensive furniture, I'm going to live in it. If I buy some nice bedding, I'm going to let the cat sleep on it. And if I buy an expensive pair of snakeskin boots, I'm going to wear them around the city, even if it is snowing and they're throwing rock salt down on the sidewalks. Now, don't get me wrong, I spend most of my time shopping in Walmart and Target like everyone else, but once in a while I see something that I like, I will uh, buy it if I can afford it, and I'll use it. I won't tuck it away in a closet somewhere. So, why am I sharing this with everybody? Because these videos are all about shopping, and uh, that's my shopping philosophy. What's yours? Leave a comment below. So once you leave the Venetian Grand Canal shops and enter the Palazzo Grand Canal shops, there's one thing that's missing, and that's the Grand Canals. However, I must say, the shops here at the Palazzo seem to be a lot more high-end uh, where the uh, Venetian has more of the uh, mainstream stores. And right here at this very point is where the two hotels connect and all the shopping connects. The sounds of shopping. And before we leave the Grand Canal shops, a final shot from the Venetian looking towards the Palazzo. By the way, I spent a week in the Palazzo not too long ago. Uh, there's a video of the suite as well as the entire hotel, so make sure you check that video out here on the channel. 
And now we're going to be off to the Grand Bazaar shops on the uh, Las Vegas Strip, coming up right now. And we're now Center Strip, that's the beautiful Bellagio building across the street, and we're at the Grand Bazaar shops. And now directly in front of us is the Cromwell Hotel and Casino, home of Dre's Day Club, Night Club. It's got beautiful views of the Strip. Now, the Grand Bazaar Shops is kind of like borderline flea market merchandise, but hey, it's the cheapest stuff you can buy on the Strip. If you're looking for inexpensive tchotchkes for yourself or to bring home as souvenirs for friends and family or inexpensive t-shirts, this is the place to come. You'll probably find the best bargains as far as the Strip is concerned right here at the Grand Bazaar Shops. The Grand Bazaar Shops also has quite a few places to grab a bite or a drink inexpensively here on the Strip. Uh, this is the Craft Pub on the left hand side, home of the Fight Dollar Mystery Drink. I'm not quite sure what that is and I don't know if I want one. Uh, I guess if you wake up in the morning the night before is a mystery. I have no idea. I learned a long time ago to stay away from mystery drinks and especially mystery food. And seriously, there's a lot of food to be had here. Inexpensive casual food like fried chicken, pizza, burgers. And as far as drinks go, they're pretty inexpensive here as well. The uh, tons of different types of draft beer and cocktails. Uh, and if you tip the bartender, I'm sure they'll go a little more heavy handed on the drinks if you like them a little stiffer. I can't say that much for the uh, casinos, which are pretty much regulated and have rules as far as uh, how much they can pour per drink. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button when you do, you're automatically enrolled in the next $50 gift card giveaway here on the New York channel. By the way, speaking of the Amazon gift card giveaway, there was one several weeks ago, uh, one by iExplore Louisiana, and uh, there's one coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe now and stay tuned to the New York channel to find out who the next winner is. All you gotta do is subscribe and you're automatically entered. And here we have It's Sugar with a cool mobile. I was going to say uh, it's a photo opportunity, but it's more of a video opportunity because it moves. Funny thing about that It's Sugar sign, it says It's Sugar when you're walking in, and as you leave it actually says It's Diabetes. No, it doesn't. I just made that up. Now if you've been paying attention for the past couple of seconds, and I know you have been, we've passed tons of food choices just within the past 50 to 100 feet, including food from Istanbul, Greece, pizza, ice cream, ramen noodles, tons of food choices here, inexpensive uh, in a city that's very expensive to eat and drink. So. I'd feel safe eating at any one of these places. All right, let's all put on our Manhattan, New York hoity-toities and head on over to the Wynn Plaza shops. I love how I can turn nighttime into day in these compilation videos. I feel so powerful. Looks like Hermes is showing off its summer white cylinders with black interiors. I need one of those. Oh boy, it's one of those malls. How do I look? As soon as you walk in, Cipriani's on the left. I talk about Cipriani's. Their home base, obviously, is in New York City. And I spoke about it on my 42nd Street video, so check that video out. Great place for drinks and dinner if you can afford it. Hold on tight. Okay, between you and I, I don't think I'm going to find my six-piece chicken McNugget value meal here.
Maybe it's me, but I just get the feeling any moment now someone's going to walk up to me and say, you must be lost. But hey, I'm from New York. I can out hoity any toity that questions me. So that's Earth Cafe. Every time I come to Vegas, I promise myself I'm going to go there, and I never have yet. Next time I visit Vegas, as long as it's open, I'm going to visit Earth Cafe, enjoy a nice dark roast coffee with a croissant, check my emails, and I promise you guys I will let you know how the place is. Okay, so it's different, colorful, and nice, but I think it belongs more on Fremont Street, not here. Okay, before this video winds down, we're going to visit a couple of licensed stores on this trip, including Hershey, M&M, and Coca-Cola. Boom! Nighttime, I did it again. Just so you guys know, I am definitely Team Peanut, not so much Team Plain. However, Team Plain M&M makes a great hot chocolate. If you put a handful in a blender with some warm milk and whip it up, it comes out to this kind of ugly gray color, but it's the best hot chocolate you've ever had. So what are you, Team Peanut or Team Plain? Leave a comment below. Hands down, this is one of the most colorful stores I've seen in a long time. It's kind of like when you walk off the strip and you walk into this store, when the Wizard of Oz, the movie, turns from black and white into color. That's what this reminds me of. The M&M store, the Coca-Cola store, and the Hershey store are all located pretty much in the same area of the Strip at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard in uh, Tropicana Avenue. At that intersection is the MGM Grand, the Tropicana, the Excalibur, and New York, New York. And they're all uh, right across the street from each other. This store is huge, it's 28,000 square feet, four stories high, and is the first M&M store location ever. There's an area here where you can customize some M&Ms if you'd like to do that. It only takes a few minutes. You can upload an image or a logo from your phone, or you can choose one of the logos that are already in the store. There's also 14 iconic Las Vegas logos, including the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. All can be printed on any color M&M you want, and it takes about two minutes. Sounds like a great souvenir idea to bring back home. Before we leave the M&M store, we're going to head upstairs to quickly check out the official M&M NASCAR car, and then we're going to head over to the Coca-Cola store. Hold on tight. And there she is, number 18, the official M&M NASCAR car. Photo opportunity. And pretty much right next door to the M&M store is the Coca-Cola store. You can't miss it. There's a green glass huge bottle of Coke right out front. This bottle actually serves as the store's elevator, bringing new meaning to the term getting high on Coke. Sorry, couldn't help myself. And just to show you that the Coke store is indeed right next to the M&M store, that's the M&M store with the yellow sign right next door. Let's step inside. Out of all three, between the M&M store, the Coke store, and the Hershey store, Coca-Cola is hands down the most collectible uh, items there are. 
Uh, it's almost like a cult following, and if you go on the internet, you'll find people just trading everything Coca-Cola. As I walked around here, it was really cool seeing what they had to offer, but half of these items I was thinking to myself, how in the world would I get that on an airplane? For example, they have uh, like two foot high bottles of Coca-Cola, empty ones, which are great for, you know, catching coins when you come home, for example, throwing coins into it. But again, how would I get that on an airplane? I suppose the store could ship it to my house on the East Coast, but that would cost a lot of money and I don't like the items that much. Look at all these Coca-Cola magnets. Pretty cool. And now we'll head upstairs. Hold on tight. And you don't want to leave the Coca-Cola store without meeting and having your photo taken with the famous Coca-Cola polar bear. From high fives and friendly hugs, it's truly a one-of-a-kind experience. Some baseball cap merch. And also on the second floor is the Coca-Cola Beverage Bar, a great place to stop in, especially when it's hot and sunny in the mid-afternoon here on the Las Vegas Strip. You can take a break from exploring the Strip and stop by for a refreshing visit to the Coca-Cola Bar on the second level here. Uh, you can enjoy delicious Coke floats or sample a uh, 16 different international beverage tray, which uh, costs, I know it's under $10 and you get a whole bunch of little cups of Coca-Cola beverages that are not available in the US. It's great to try them all out. Some of them are actually very good and others are, well, not so much. So it's interesting to try them out. And now we're gonna leave the Coca-Cola store, head across the Las Vegas Strip via the overhead walkway and head over to New York, New York, or New York, New York, which is the uh, hotel and casino that's home to the Hershey store. And here we are at the New York, New York, home of the Hershey Chocolate World and a uh, great underrated property here on the Las Vegas Strip. I like New York, New York. It's clean, it's safe, it's got lots of things to do, lots of places to eat, lots of places to shop. Very underrated, reasonable prices. Check out New York, New York video here on the New York channel. Photo opportunity. Let's step inside. Now, one of the cool things about the Hershey store is it has a section called Hershey Kitchens, which offers baked goods baked with uh, all Hershey ingredients. So if you're craving a brownie or a piece of cake or a cookie with Hershey ingredients, this is the place to come. They bake them fresh every day. The Hershey store is two levels, and uh, as you can see downstairs, we're going to head upstairs in a moment, but downstairs there's all different products that Hershey's makes, like icebreakers. I had no idea, um, but my favorites will always be Reese cups and a Hershey bar with almonds. A Reese lunchbox. Cool, nerdy, or just uncool? Leave a comment below. Photo opportunity. And here is just a wall of Hershey miniatures and kisses and Reese cups and you name it, it's on this wall here with pull handles just like the casino slot machines. Well, at least the old school slot machines. Honestly, I don't think they have a bag big enough for all my choices.
By the way, that Statue of Liberty is solid Hershey's milk chocolate. And speaking of Statue of Liberty, she will be my next Lego attempt on the uh, Lego portion of this New York channel. So if you're a Lego fan, check that video out. It's coming out soon. In the meantime, you can check out the Empire State Building that I built on the Lego playlist here on the New York channel. And again, speaking of the New York channel, make sure you check out all of the places we visited on this particular video by visiting their individual videos here on the New York channel, including Miracle Maya Mall, the uh, Grand Canal shops at the Venetian and the Palazzo, the Grand Bazaar shops, the Wynn Plaza shops, as well as the M&M, the Coke, and the Hershey store shops. And this video is Shopping the Vegas Trip number two, so make sure you check out Shopping Las Vegas Trip number one here on the channel as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.